I'm an architect and I'm very design oriented. I think it's a classic that everybody likes. You don't have to be a car aficionado to like this car. This is a very reliable car. I have never had any trouble with it. I had driven it very hard from border to border twice with no problems whatsoever. Enzo Ferrari once said that this is the most beautiful car in the world. My name is Miguel. We are in Lima, Peru, and we drove a Jaguar E-Type, Roadster 1964. My mom always tells me that the first word I ever said in my life was auto, car. In the early 60s, we had cars from all over the world. Then, in the late 60s, we had a dictatorship which closed the importation of cars. In the 70s, the offer of the market was very limited. It was a difficult time in Peru. We have an economic crisis and a security crisis, so the government shut down the importation of cars. I wanted to buy an E-Type. In Lima, that wasn't possible. I wanted to go to America and get an E-Type there, but I couldn't because of the loan. I promoted a law to allow the importation of classic cars. At the time, I was going to Hershey's in Pennsylvania, and it was a month away. And luckily, the law got published, and so I was able to go to Hershey's, and I found this car. A couple of months later, the car arrived in Lima. I have never heard of the cannonball. A friend of mine, which has lots of ideas, one day at a meeting, he talked about the handball and the possibility of doing it here in Lima. The idea was to do it from the border south in Chile to the border in the north in Ecuador, along the Panamericana Highway. The border to border is about 2,550 kilometers. In the original cannonball, there was only one rule. It said that there are no rules. There are always big discussions about rules. Nobody agrees about many things. So when you have a rule that says there are no rules, it's perfect, because that's the end of discussion. An event like that uh, has two parts. One part, which is the preparation, which takes many months. And that part is as gratifying as the event itself, because the event takes less than a day and it's finished, which is like the climax. But previous to that, all the months of preparation are a wonderful experience. As the months went by, a lot of people began checking it out. We set a date in 2004, there were four participants. This car placed first place, way ahead of the rest of the competition. The second car came four hours behind. It was really a very fun event. Three years later, almost everybody that had participated, especially the ones that came second and third and fourth, they wanted a rerun. So we decided to do a rerun. We did it in 2007. The only car that repeated the event was the E-Type because the other participants changed cars. I thought that on the first event we had gone way too fast and it was not necessary to go that fast. So we decided on going on a slower pace and half through the second event, we found out that we were on the lead way ahead. So we slowed down the pace even more. And we ended up doing about 24 hours, which was uh, enough to win that second event. I have a small collection, and once every few years, uh, I sell a car and buy something else. I always think that if I want to buy another car, it is because I have lost the interest of the ones I have. But this car, I don't see myself losing the interest.
I have a wonderful wife and I have three wonderful daughters. And when they were little kids, we went to all the car shows and they would come along and they would enjoy the car shows. And it has been a wonderful uh, family experience. The fun part is the traveling, not getting to point B. Sometimes people only think about getting to point B and they don't have the enjoyment of the whole process of the traveling.